Hello and welcome back to Crafts by Caitlin. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I took Dollar Tree picture frames and turned them into some super cute Christmas DIYs. We are almost at 50,000 subscribers, which is absolutely insane. I'm so excited about it. And I just want to give a huge thank you to every single person that has subscribed and commented. I absolutely love reading all your sweet comments. I read every single one and I try to respond to as many as possible. I also love, love, love how you all have been tagging me on Instagram and letting me see all the crafts that you've made that um, has been inspired by my channel or some of you have just uh, shared some crafts that you've been making and I love it. That is so fun uh, getting to see what you all are doing and then getting to hear back what you all think about my crafts as well. So I love that part of YouTube. And I also want to say a huge thank you to everyone who has just given them a big thumbs up or shared them with your friends. It honestly means so much and you all have helped me grow my channel to 50, well almost, so close to 50,000 subscribers. Something else that I am so excited to share with you all is that I've been working several months on some cute crafting t-shirts that I wanted to be able to share with you all and represent our little crafting community. So I named this brand Crafty Life, so I put that on most of the shirts and hoodies that I have, but I'm so excited to show you. I'll put the link down below for you to go check them out. There's some super cute uh, t-shirts, so if you want to go check that out, please do. I'll be so excited to get to share these with you all. And this is one of the designs. It says I make coffee and then I make crafts, and the crafts is with a K, and then it says crafty life at the bottom. So these are so fun. I'm so excited about these. I think they're super cute. I want you to go check out um, the website they're on teespring.com but I'll put the link down below but I want you to go check it out because they are some super cute and I'll post a picture of my favorite t-shirt up here that I am dying to share with you all I love it it's my absolute favorite thing that I made so please go check that out and I thank you all so so much for supporting my channel just by commenting and watching my videos I absolutely love it I am going to be having a huge 50,000 subscriber giveaway and that will probably be up next week so stay tuned for that. I do want to give away some really fun stuff as well as something that I have made myself. So make sure that you stay tuned for that video and make sure you're subscribed. Hit the little notification bell so you never miss an upload and then give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. So I am going to be using Dollar Tree picture frames in all of these DIYs. This one is a really pretty wood color and I wanted to turn it into like a chalkboard except I'm not going to be using chalk on it but I wanted it to look like one. I just made the chalkboard by adding just some apple barrel black paint onto a piece of cardstock. And like I say, I'm not going to be using real chalk. I'm going to actually be using a white paint marker. So I just needed like the black and... Um, the black background with a tad bit of white and I just dipped my brush in there before I added the black and it kind of added the little white streaks to make it look like it was the chalkboard. After I was almost completely finished, I did notice it was so light that I did take a little bit of black paint and go over it to darken it up. I love the finished look of this. I think it looks like a real chalkboard that has eraser dust on it or chalk dust. After my black paint was completely dry, I just used the photo that came in it as a template to trim around it to get the exact size. I did go ahead and just replace the glass behind the chalkboard paper just so it would fill in the back and not let it wrinkle. I'm using this little snowflake from Dollar Tree. I've used these on a DIY before. And then I spelled out the word Noel with the little wooden letters that they now have at Dollar Tree that I'm absolutely obsessed with. 
and I wanted these Noel letters um, to be painted white to match the little snowflake and to match the little um, chalk painting which is going to be done with the uh, white sharpie marker. In my experience, I have found that I don't think these wooden letters spray paint too well, so I do recommend using a chalk paint or acrylic paint. So before gluing them down, I just tried to arrange them so it was to my liking. Um, if you Google chalkboard art, they have a ton of ideas on there and they have some beautiful designs. You could choose any word or mix this up however you want. Um, I just used joy on my sled, so I didn't want to use joy on this, so I always try to come up with like short Christmas words for this, but I think this turned out really cute and I really like the little tree design that I went with. This is an oil-based Sharpie paint marker. You could use any type of paint marker. I just picked mine up at Walmart or buy the large packs off of Amazon. And I'm just going to recreate this little tree that I seen on one of the uh, chalkboard arts on Google. I thought this was really pretty. Mine doesn't look exactly like it. I mixed it up quite a bit, um, but I think it's really cute. I um, always, <laughs> does anybody else do this? I always just practice in the air before I actually commit to it. Um, I, was, I love how the top little lights look, but I do wish that I would have only did one strand on the bottom instead of like circling it back around, if that makes sense. And then I added in a ton of little ornaments and little polka dots just to fill in the tree. And then I felt like it needed something at the bottom, so I gave it some cute little presents. I have some of this beautiful red bur burlap ribbon. I picked this up at Dollar General, but Dollar Tree has a beautiful selection of ribbon this year, so feel free to use any ribbon that you want to make my bow. I, I know I've showed you this a million times, but I just fold it over into thirds, and then this uh, bow, I want a little tail on it, so I cut off another piece of ribbon. And then I tie them together with some uh, jute twine in the center and pull it really tight and it uh, creases the middle so it makes a really cute little bow. To cover the center of the bow, I just take another little piece of the matching ribbon and then hot glue that around the center and then glue down the back. I just folded over the little ends of the ribbon tails and then cut them diagonally and then I just hot glued it onto the top of the frame. I love this. I think it is so chic looking and elegant and um, so pretty for just uh, made from a dollar frame. Even though I do feel like I messed up on that bottom strand, um, it does look more realistic being chalk if it is kind of messy and not perfect. But I think this is so pretty and I think it could coordinate well with any type of decor. For the next DIY, I'm going to be making some little lantern shadow boxes that they're not going to have the glass in the front. So I just started with three of these 5x7 picture frames. I got these in the silver. Um, I really like this frame type because they are really square and they glue together really nicely. So for one of the frames, I'm just going to be taking everything out and placing the cardboard in the front and then replacing even the glass and the back again. And then that will be my base. And then for the uh, second two, the other two picture frames, I'm going to remove all of their contents and then pull out the little clips in the back with a pair of um, pliers. So if you want to make this, I definitely recommend using some E6000 as well. Uh, one of my sweet subscribers did remind me to buy some and I did forget anyways because I just didn't add it to the shopping list right then. But I do need to pick up some more E6000, but I'm sure that it would hold the other a lot better using the hot glue. So I went ahead and made another frame because you know I love things in sets of two.
So after I got these put together, I decided they really needed some kind of pretty background and I didn't think that painting it was going to do as good as I wanted it to. So here I am going to be using one of these Hobby Lobby posters. I completely forgot to tell you all last time in my fall video, this poster came from Hobby Lobby and I think it was only $2.99. But these are so nice because they're so cheap and I can use them on a ton of different projects. So, um, like I've said before, I couldn't find my lanterns at Dollar Tree. So, um, pick them up if yours still has them. Uh, I bought these at Walmart and they are a pretty red color with the little pine cones on the front. And I'm going to hang them using a piece of the jute string. And I just tied it in a knot and hot glued it to the top. Now you can raise these up a little bit if you want them to hang in the middle. But I thought they were kind of cute setting down on the bottom shelf. I wanted to make a really pretty little accent at the top so I'm using some of these Dollar Tree garland ties and just hot gluing them, um, twisting them together and hot gluing them down to add some greenery and then I'm going to be adding, um, just tying a little knot in some of this red ribbon and adding some of the pine cones. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach with our feet. That amazing in Christmas times. We'll be chilling and having a good, good I already had the little frosted pine cones that came from Dollar General, but then I did pick off the other little pine cones from a Dollar Tree holiday bouquet. And then after I had them all put together, I used some of this nautical rope to add some little hangers to the top. And this is what they look like. We really love these and I think they'll be so pretty. Um, you can hang these together or you could hang them on either side of a larger wall decor piece. But I love these and I think they are so, so pretty. And then for the last um, DIY that I have for you today, I wanted to show you just how to take a dollar photo frame and turn it into a nice cute little Christmas wall decor piece so you don't have to spend a ton of money to fill your walls or your house up with Christmas decor, but you can make some super cute items and this can be totally customizable. It could say anything or you could use anything that you already have on hand. So once again, I do love wood background, so I did want that as the background in this photo so I added that first and then I added the glass on top of that to make it really sturdy and not make it look wrinkled I picked up this beautiful little red stocking from Dollar Tree and I was so excited to get it. I think it's so pretty and then after I put this after I'd put this together I decided I love this wide ribbon from Dollar General if you did just want to use Dollar Tree ribbon, you could double it up and um, stack it up and glue it together. But I took my frame back apart and just tacked this on the inside of the frame and then re-added the backing in there. I just tacked the little stocking up in the center with some hot glue and then I made a cute little jute string bow and by just um, wrapping this jute string around my fingers and then tying it in the center with another piece of jute string. And then after you get it tied together, you just pull all the little strings down to the bottom and then trim them. And then I just tacked it over the little hanger. I 
I love how the red burlap color on the stocking uh, looks so good on top of the white wood. Um, I picked up one of these Joy uh, ornaments from Dollar Tree this year and it's super cute and you could use that. But I did want to save it for another DIY and I had this older Joy um, that I've had for several years so I thought it would be really pretty to add that on there. I think it coordinates so well with the same color red and the same color green and I'm pretty sure that ornament came from Walmart several years ago. But not including the items I already had on hand like the jute string and the ribbon and the background, just the frame and the stocking, um, I made this for around 2 or $3. So you can make decor super cheap and make it really cute. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Make sure you go check out my Crafty Life tees. I've been so excited to share those with you all. And I just think they are super cute. Here's the one that I was showing you before. And it's got a little Crafty Life on the front. This is a hoodie, but you can order this in t-shirts. But make sure you go check out all of them. There are several different designs and they can come in a ton of colors. I still have a ton of Christmas DIYs coming, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Bye!